Hi class, welcome to the Lego Bricks in Space program. It's time to get out your student worksheet. Working alongside the crew on board the International Space Station, you will find all the answers to the questions on your worksheet. Teachers, when you see the pause prompt on the screen, please pause the video to give students time to record their answers. Hold on to your seats as we launch into space. And I'm on the International Space Station, and we're going to look at how we can use solar sails for propulsion of spaceships and compare that to how we use sails on Earth when we are within the atmosphere. This is called a land yacht, and really what that means, it's a sail car. It's a three-wheeled cart that has a big sail on it. And of course, this won't work in space, but we're going to use an analogy between how sails work in our atmosphere on Earth and how we might use solar sails for spacecraft going to the outer planets. We have three different sizes of sails. So I'm thinking I'm going to call this sail car complete. The sail isn't going to work do any good because this has to catch air and of course you don't want Lego guy to be out by himself without a spacesuit on he, he wouldn't be very happy remember we're doing an analogy here and that means you compare two things so we're going to compare what we do on earth with what we might do in space with this concept of what we call solar sails Okay, here we have our earthbound land yacht. Of course, it's powered by sails, right? And, and this isn't going to work in weightlessness. But what I want to show you is that when you have solar wind, and solar wind, the, it's not like wind that we have on Earth. Solar wind is a stream of small amounts of gas and particles that come off from the sun very very low level of forces that you can extract from solar wind so your sails have to be big so a sail like this which works well if you're sailing in the desert on earth isn't going to work very well in space you're going to have to have huge sails so let's see what we could do here let's try to get some huge sails on this guy and remember this isn't going to work on the ground but in space it doesn't matter how you arrange things because uh, there isn't really an up and a down so now we have all of this available surface area to catch the solar wind and of course sails on earth are made out of cloth sails solar sails in space are going to be made out of a different material probably very very thin mylar maybe even very very thin metal such as aluminum vapor coated aluminum and the forces are so small it could be so thin that on earth it would just tear but in space it's going to be okay because of because it doesn't have to worry about supporting its weight these are high large surface area solar sails and we're in space and what would happen if the camera now is the sun the sun would hit these solar sails they put a small amount of pressure and slowly move our spacecraft. Now there is one significant difference between sails on Earth and sails, solar sails in space. In space, 
we don't have a keel that works. And think about what a keel allows a sailboat to do. Without a keel, sailboats could only sail downwind. But because we have keel designs, we can have sailboats sail upwind. In fact, they sail upwind faster than they can sail downwind. And with the invention of the keel, we can sail into the wind now. In space, we don't have anything like that. We don't have a keel. So we can use solar sails to sail away from the sun. So we could start off at Earth with solar sails and sail to Mars or Jupiter or Saturn, but we wouldn't be able to come back. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much finished with our solar sail land yacht Lego demonstration here on the International Space Station. However, I would like to put this guy back in his original configuration, the way he was supposed to be according to the instructions, but I threw the instruction booklet away and it drifted off and I don't know where it is. And you know, in space things can drift around, you never know, oh, look at that. The instruction booklet just happened to drift by. It must